Hey, there we go. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where we talk about, I'm going to try something new here, where we talk about how to stop letting life happen to you and begin to create the life you crave. Mr. Keith, good morning. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Hope everything has been well with you, and congratulations for getting in there on top of Joe this morning, beating him out. That is an accomplishment. Hey, um, just getting to the right page in my notes there. Hey, thanks for being here. If you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, tune in, iTunes, Stitcher, maybe SoundCloud, maybe watching on YouTube, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, 7minutesinthemorning.com, and that'll get you to the right place. You can watch the show live when it happens, and you can uh, comment with the rest of the folks like Keith has done, say good morning, and when you come by, and you watch, whether you watch live or on the replay, doesn't matter. I still see them. Go ahead and leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you were here. So today is Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday, and uh, that makes it stumped coach day. So if you have a question, a comment, a topic, you would, a question about what we covered this week, a, to- a, a um, or a topic you'd like for me to cover, I'll get it out there in a minute. Uh, Go ahead and leave that in the comments, and I'll hit them up. In the meantime, I want to give a quick recap of what we talked about this week because I think it, I I, I think it, um, honestly, I think most of the stuff we talk about is important, but I think this is really important because we hear that we need to focus a lot. We need, we hear that we need to focus a lot, but we, but nobody ever tells us how to do that. So that's what I wanted to explore this week is specifically, how do you focus? And focus, remember, is the application of effort to create an outcome. And effort is just time, energy, and attention. So we talked about how to manage our use of time. We can't manage time. It's kind of fixed, but we can manage how we use it. And one of the methods for doing that's Pomodoro method, which um, I, I have an app that I use, but I, I encourage you not to get wrapped up in the app. You can just use your watch. But um, poking around in the app that I use, I found a setting that I thought was pretty interesting where, you know, we talked about a couple of times this week, our attention spans about 20 minutes. That's what we can really apply to something. So, Work for 20 minutes, take a five minute break, work for another 20 minutes, then take a 10 minute break. And, uh, is that right? 20, 40, 30, five, and then work for another 20 minutes, and then you're going to be at an hour, right? So before you know it, man, that time is just clicking along, right? So the whole point of that, manage how you use your time. And here was the key, and, and this is, remains to be the key. Don't get distracted. Working in short blocks like that, like 20 minutes, you know I can can devote 20 minutes and, you know, my rule for the kids was if it wasn't burning or not bleeding, don't interrupt me till I come out, right? So for 20 minutes, you cannot answer email, not answer the phone, take that five-minute or 10-minute break to call those people back, reply to those emails, and just focus your time for that 20 minutes. All right. So the second one, and hey, good morning, Catherine. Thank you for being here. 30, 10, 20, 10. Yeah. A- any kind of switching, right? Because I'm going to, and we'll get to that when we talk about attention. Energy, you know, we've got our best, best energy windows in the day. Some people are in the morning. Some people are at night. Whatever yours is, the, the admonition here is to know what it is and leverage that best time window for your own outcomes, not for somebody else's. That's uh, the E, the energy, and T, and then the A is attention. And that's uh, kind of to your point, Catherine. When I get to switch from one task to another, it re-engages my attention. So that's another good, um, you know, supporting reason behind that 20-minute switching window. And I like yours, you know, 20, uh, 30, 10, 20, 10. The point is... Whatever works, find the one that works and then follow it. And, you know, like I said on Monday, I don't even have my phone in here. Like I said on Monday, there's hundreds of apps for the phone or for the laptop, computer, for your watch, whatever, that will do this for you. 
Don't get wrapped up in the app. Get wrapped up in the outcome. Okay. All right. So that's a quick recap of what we had for the week. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm a hundred percent behind you on that, Catherine. You have to find what works for you. In fact, I'm so happy with that one. Look at that. I'm on that. Oh, add it to the broadcast. <laughs> oh, okay. Keith, I'll get there in just a second. Yeah, you have to find what works for you or you won't work it. 100% believe that. Now, since it's Free Coaching Friday and I said you could talk about whatever you wanted to, Keith has brought up one of my favorite topics, coffee. I have my coffee right here in my Alabama mug. Yeah, <laughs> Go to car line, satisfied. So regular versus decaf. My best friend used to say, coffee doesn't taste that good. If it doesn't have caffeine, what's the point? <laughs> I, I, I kind of agree with that, um, except now I kind of do flavored coffee. And I'll tell you this story. <clears throat> this will be a good story to kind of wrap things up on today. When I was in the Army, that's when I first started drinking coffee. And I had this friend of mine. We were stationed in Germany. And, um, we would make and take calls back home for each other all the time. And so in the course of doing that, I had the opportunity to talk to his dad a couple of times, but it was more like, um, yeah, hey, sir, here's, here's your son or, you know, that, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, hey, hang on, I'll get Sean. That sort of thing, right? So one day we've had this conversation. It's a, you know, we're working a night shift. I got a cup of coffee and I'm putting sugar and creamer in it. And I'm stirring it up, and uh, my friend who was there with me says, Dad, you'll never believe what Tom's doing to his coffee. Yes. All right, hang on. That was the entire conversation, right? So he came over to me and handed me the phone and said, Here, my dad wants to talk to you. Okay. Hello? And, you know, through the other end of the phone, I heard, if you're going to drink coffee, drink it like a man. Don't put any of that girly stuff in it. Because that was the cleaner version of what he said. And so I, I took that advice to heart. And for years after that, only drank coffee black. Now, from that perspective, I agree with my best friend's assessment. Coffee doesn't taste that good to drink decaf. <laughs> but... but now I'm back to uh, girling it up, as he said, as uh, my friend's dad said, putting the uh, flavor in it and coffee and cream or sugar and creamer and whatnot. And so I kind of like it. I personally do a couple of actually, and uh, although Vicky lets me forget this all the time, she buys decaf and uh, regular and then mixes it together. So we're doing half and half every day. All right, girly coffee man. <laughs> That's going to be it for today. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I will be back Monday. Oh, and be on the lookout Sunday. I'll, I'll post it to the uh, Facebook page and a couple of other places. Uh, but I've got a preview of what's coming up next week. That's going to we'll start putting those out on Sunday afternoon, I believe. So be on the lookout for that. Love to hear your feedback on that. Otherwise, you guys have a terrific weekend, and I will talk to you Monday.